Now we're going to be simplifying some radical expressions and we're going to start with uh, these um, square roots and cube roots of some radical expressions. So for problem number one, we have square root of 24 and the idea of simplifying square roots or radical is to uh, find factors of uh, your number that has perfect squares or perfect cubes depending on your roots. Now in this case we have a square root so we're going to factor out 24 that gives us a perfect square and that would be 4 and 6. So if we separate our square roots we have square root of 4 times square root of 6 and in this case square root of 4 is a perfect square so we'll have 2 square root of 6. So this is the idea of simplifying square roots by factoring your numerical value with a perfect squares. Now for problem number 3 we have cube root of negative 162. So since we're looking for the cube root, you need to find a perfect cubes or the perfect cubes of your numerical expression that will equal to 162 or the factors will equal to 162. And the factors of 162 that has a perfect cube would be 27 and 6 because 27 times 6 is equal to 162 and don't forget that this is going to be negative. Now 27, if we separate it, we have negative 27 times the cube root of 6. 27 is a perfect cube because 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27 and negative will still go out in your radical so your simplest form of cube root of negative 27 would be negative 3 multiplied by the cube root of 6. Since 6 cannot, is not a perfect square, our answer is simply negative 3 cube root of 6. And that's how we simplify problem number 3. Now for problem number 5, we have the cube root of 27m cubed n to the fifth. So we know that 27 is a perfect cube, so if we expand our expression, this will look something like this. We have cube root of 27, cube root of 1, 2, 3, and cube root of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in this case, we are going to simplify cube root of 27, which is a perfect cube, and cube root of 27 is 3. This one is also a perfect cube, so we can take out the m to the third power, canceling out the cube root, so we'll have m in our expression, while on the third variable or third group, we only have 1, 2, 3 n's that we could simplify, and the two n's will stay inside the cube root. So we have n cube root of n squared. So the simplest form of 27 or cube root of 27 m cubed times n to the fifth would be 3 m n cube root of n squared. So that is the idea on how you simplify your radicals. Now on the next part of our solution or work, we're going to be simplifying the radical expression using the operations presented in the following problems. So let's go ahead and start with problem number one. Now the idea of combining like terms or adding and subtracting square roots is the same as the idea of adding and subtracting polynomials. So if I have x plus x, we know x plus x is equal to 2x. And if I have 3x minus x, it will equal to 2x. So that is the same idea in adding square roots or radical. If I have negative 5 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 3, since I have the same radical, I can combine this by combining negative 5 and negative 3 and negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8 square root of 3. So that's how we can add and subtract square roots the radicals need to be identical so we can combine them. Now on example number number three, notice that our square roots are not identical. So we cannot just add them 
together because they're not the same. However, we know that square root of 45 can be simplified into 9 times 5 and square root of 20 can be simplified into 4 times 5. And since square root of 9 is a perfect square and square root of 4 is also a perfect square, we can simplify this into 3 square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 5 and 3 and 2 will give us 5 square root of 5. So that's how we add radicals similar to problem number 3. And for problem number 5, notice that we are multiplying in problem number 5. So in multiplication, it's going to be easier than addition because the rule is pretty simple. If you have square root of x times square root of x, you are simply multiplying them. That will equal to x times x or square root of x squared. Now, the idea is the same as square root of 6 times square root of 2. We can combine this into square root of 6 times 2, which we know is square root of 12. Now, square root of 12 is not a perfect square, but we can factor this out and change our radical into square root of 4 times 3. And 4, as we know, is a perfect square, so square root of 4 times 3, or square root, yeah, could be 2 square root of 3, because 4 is a perfect square. So that's how we multiply problem number 5. Now, the last bottom problem, notice that we're going to be using the distributive property, and that's what we're going to do on problem number 7. If I have 3 square root of 3 times 4 minus 3 square root of 5, in square roots or radicals, you can combine the terms by the coefficient and the square root. So if we're going to multiply 3 square root of 3 times 4, we're only multiplying 3 and 4, which gives us 12 square root of 3. And if we multiply 3 square root of 3 to negative 3 square root of 5, we're going to multiply 3 and 3, which gives us negative 9, and multiply 5 and 3, which is square root of 15. Now, square root of 15 is not going to give us factors of uh, a perfect square, so this will just be the simplest form of our um, radical expressions. And for problem number 9, we have to use the FOIL method or distribute this first term to the second term. So we're going to do it step by step. We'll go, we're going to start with 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4. And 2 times 4 square root of 5 would be 2 times 4 is 8 square root of 5. And then we're going to multiply square root of 5 to negative 2, which is negative 2 square root of 5. And negative 5 times 4 square root of 5 is going to give us positive 4 square root of 25. And by simplifying the terms that we could simplify, we could go ahead and combine this by addition or subtraction and simplify square root of 25. So we have negative 4 plus 8 minus 2 is 6 square root of 5 plus 4 and square root of 25 is 5. So we're going to simplify this by multiplying 4 and 5 which is equal to 20 and combine like terms giving us 16 plus 6 square root of 5. And this is how we simplify radical expressions by adding, subtracting, and uh, multiplying.